There are hundreds, if not thousands, of incidents and issues, exceptions, deviations, and general problems that can go wrong across the supply chain on any given day. Tracking them via email, spreadsheets, conference calls, just is not effective. The longer an issue takes to resolve, the more it's gonna impact your revenues, the cost of goods, and your overall efficiency. This is one of the use cases that Tracelink Agile Issue Management handles. I'm logged in today as a supply chain planner at Reading Pharmaceutical. What I'm looking at here are all of my open issues. I can see what type of issue I have, who the supplier is, the material, the part category, the last activity, and when the issues do. If I open this issue, in this case, it's a short shipment. So I ordered, originally ordered uh, 2,000 items here. And this, this, in this case, it's a batch of finished goods, but it can be materials, it can be API, it can be labels, anything that goes into the direct materials process to, to manufacture the product. Um, in this case, I was expecting 3,000, only 2,000 were delivered. And I saw that the supplier missed the PO adjustment that I did to add another 1,000. So now the finished goods have arrived and I've got a problem because it's a short, uh, short shipment. So I'm able to bring my supplier right into this. Instead of going back and forth with emails and tracking sheets and phone calls, I can assign the supplier, I can invite him to the issue, I can document the problem, document the issue impact, which site was it discovered at, what's the item code affected, why does my company consider this a high priority? Well, in this case, I'm short and I've got, my market supply is impacted because I can't fill my orders on the outbound side. I capture some information about the part and material, and then I'm able to do various things with this issue. So instead of various emails flying back and forth and trying to have missed documents and so on, so on and so forth. What I've done here is I've created a dialogue right into the tool where I can initiate this, in this case, reminding them that they here's the change order that you missed. I can get a response from them with the change order acknowledgement, and I can get the uh, fully adjusted PO in here. Uh, so everything's in one place. Um, I can also start to gather information. So instead of coaxing information about this situation, bit by bit uh, through an email, I can get an initial response from that supplier and saying, what, what are we gonna do about this problem? So in this case, I'm prompting them, tell me which lots were affected. Was that the only lot affected? Uh, what should I do with it? Um, what should I do to solve this problem? And obviously I need a secondary batch run for the additional thousand eaches or ship me more if it's a different type of material or component. Um, I need a delivery date for those initial thousands. So my planners and my demand forecast team knows when that product is gonna be in staff uh, in stock. And I'm asking them to expedite, expedite the shipping of that subsequent batch. I can comment on this and add, add additional information if I want on this. So it's just an example of how we're able to track issues, bring people together. If my management is interested in this as a high priority issue, they can choose to follow the issue, very much like I would follow something on social media. And then when the issue dies down, they can move on to the next one and consider this one closed out or resolved from their perspective. Finally, I'm able to look at the trending and reoccurrence of these types of issues. And if I see a consistent problem happening with a group of suppliers or this particular supplier, well, maybe I need to go back and seek permanent resolution as to the reason why they keep missing my PO adjustments. Is it something I'm doing on my side or their side? You can't track that via email. This is one of the many benefits of agile issue management.